Hello all, Henry NWR 1911 here, and as you all know, or around the time this video comes out, I'm going back to school on the 26th, so yeah, uploads might slow down, but I'll try to upload as much as I can, make sure to subscribe, and let's get right into it. So, over the last few weeks or so, I've collected some new Thomas stuff, and I want to show you all some of the stuff I got. Before I went on vacation, I ordered two stacking risers, but they're not normal stacking risers. They are roadway stacking risers. These things are actually awesome. Um, basically, you know, you, know, you just stack them. Yeah. So these were sold in the um, roadway, advanced roadway expansion pack from 2002 to 2004, and... Yeah, these things are pretty damn rare. I've wanted these for a long time. I saw them going on eBay for a very reasonable 20-something dollars, like $23, and I was like, hell yeah. And, yeah, I'm gonna use these in my, um, series, a, a bridge after Henry's Tunnel, right before the dairy, but we'll see how that translates. It may or may not be, um, coming in episode 17, which... I've already finished shooting, and it will be the last episode done in this house, which it'll be very special to me for that reason alone. Oh, so yeah, the roadway stacking risers, I, hold on, let me, let's just see how the gold tracks fits between these. Yeah, I remember, like, the Knapford Viaduct from, like, Thomas Wooden Railway series, like, season 12, or, like, I remember an episode where, like, Bulgy, let me get it. He just comes along with this bitchy railway inspector and he just plummets off of the bridge while Ryan's chasing him. Yeah, those that's those are those are the vibes I get when I see these stacking visor risers. I just think that one Thomas Wooden Railway episode where Bulgy plummets off a bridge it's above Knapford. Yeah. Those, those are memories, man. The next item I ha got I well, I went to Bethany Beach in Delaware. And we went to this interesting in toy store. I sent, or I might post the um, footage I caught there later. But they had a had some like all engines go stuff. There was a Trackmaster cranky, you know, the really cool motorized one. For some shit awful reason, I didn't get that. But I'll have another chance to get it in the future. And I got some models. The first one is a TWR Victor. This is the early version so having one of the early cgi characters is cool i never noticed this whistle and i don't really have much to say on victor he's he's cool i like him i'll i'll be using him whenever i can the next one item i'm showing is a twr alfie um yeah i got the i had the character card for like a while i had him when i was young but i lost him and now, I have him once again, so I'm definitely going to, like, try and do some more, uh, name board sequences, maybe, maybe I should try that for an opening in sequence someday, and I'll have Alfie with his character card, so, I think the prototype had, like, these black hubcaps, and he had, like, a weird-looking face, but, yeah, uh, a good chunk of him is made out of plastic, but you know what? I can excuse that, because it's a quality toy. Oi. I just love just clicking the arm around and spinning him round and round. You spin me right around, baby, right? I'm done here. Yeah, TWR Alfie, I'm just gonna pop these up here. Here. And these are Take and Play models from 2015. The first one is Mike. You know that character I created, Mike? Yeah, well, um, he has a friend now. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't have much to say about this. This doesn't look as horrible as, like, other Take and Play models. I have, like, a Take and Play Philip. I might just use that in my series until I can get, like, a wooden model, but I'm not gonna do much with Philip. Yeah. Can't wait to get, like, a Take and Play Rex, though, even though he's, like, stupidly rare. Air, I don't have much to say, and I also have Bert. Bert. I almost said Bert Reynolds, because, you know, I have the, the, um, hold on. 
I have the Adam Sandler longest yard, and um, Burt Reynolds is in this. I um, I was looking at this case right off camera. You you don't know the shit that takes place off camera. So these were some of the new um Thomas Wood Thomas items I he ordered and now have. I also ordered a um you know wooden railway dairy farm and. Uh, I'm also going to be getting some other cool shit in the future. Ashima will be introduced around episode 19. And, um, yeah, so when I'll be moving into my new house, I'll obviously want to die because, you know, I there was no reason to move. It's some personal stuff between, for my mom and other stuff. I, I, just, I just don't want to talk about it, okay? Hey. But anyways, thank you guys so, so very much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe if you enjoy the content I make, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.